Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, control break statements or events and we are covering the most important points related to control break statements or events. And in the previous video we covered, whenever we have add first and add last, all character field values will convert to star all numeric field values will convert to zero. Whenever at new and at end of will trigger, whatever the field name you are specifying, nothing will happen to that column value. But whatever the columns are on the right hand side of specified field, all character column values will convert to star all numeric column values will convert to zero. And in our current example, we have two columns on the right hand side of payment mode. That is your order number and the total amount. Now, what we will do? We will take a requirement and we will then come on to the solution. Then what is the solution in those particular scenario? Now what customer is saying? Customer is saying, yes, I am getting an expected output. Output is perfectly fine. But what customer is saying, this output, whatever is coming, I want that what is the starting order number and ending order number considered in this particular output. Means customer want a starting order number and customer want a ending order number. Okay. Now, if we want to print the starting order number at the top, yes, we all know at first will trigger for the first record and we will print the order number. Similarly, at last will trigger for the last record and we will print the order number. We will see how we will print. Suppose here in at first, I will suppose write text hyphen 002 and suppose I will write work area hyphen order number. Here in at last, I will write text hyphen 002 work area hyphen order number. I will firstly create this text symbol. I will double click. I will create. And I will print. I will write order number, order number. And I will activate. Okay. We'll just change the length. I think it is not taking full order number. Okay. I will just suppose make it 50. Now I will write order number. Okay. Now, this at first will trigger for the first record. At last will trigger for the last record of the internal table. It will print the first order number. Here it will print the last order number. Now I will show you why, why we will get a wrong output. I am running. Suppose I will just activate. I'll put a breakpoint and we will run. I will run. Now I'm on 44th number line. Now, firstly, loop will come for the first record. First record from the internal table went to work area. As of now, nothing. Everything is perfectly fine. Now we need to display this order number one. Now at first will trigger for the first record. At first trigger. But whenever at first trigger, 
all character field values convert to star all numeric field values convert to zero and we are displaying this work area order number so it will simply display what star 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 suppose if i will come to last record now for the last record order number is 10 if you see the internal table for the last record order number is 10 10 but whenever at last triggered yes or this all character field convert to star all numeric field convert to zero and this is our output so customer will not understand at all yes customer asks for the starting order number and ending order number but whenever control break event triggered yes these values convert into star 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 so now what is the solution for the same highly highly weightage solution yes so what is the solution we all know values are converting to star 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 whenever or zero whenever the control break event triggers so before that before triggering itself we will take the values in temporary work area so what is the solution you can take the values in temporary work area before any of the control break event triggers. Suppose simple. I will declare a temporary work area. Suppose I will write LWA underscore temp type LTY data. So I am not, not creating a new structure because this temporary work area also has same to same three columns. Now, before triggering itself, we will move the values to temporary work area. LWA data one. Now, rather than using LWA data one, now we will use this temporary work area. Because in this work area, values will change because you are using as a part of, you are using with internal table. But nothing will happen to this temporary work area. And before triggering itself, we pass the values to temporary work area. And here also, we will use temporary work area. This is very, very important thing from the project perspective. Now I will show you in that debugging mode, it will perfectly, it will work fine. I'm running. I will not give any value. So this is our internal table, 10 records. Now first iteration of the loop. From the internal table, record went to work area. As of now, everything is fine in the work area. So at that time itself, I pass the values to temporary work area. We all know values will always pass from right to left. So we've passed everything to temporary work area. So this is what we want to break. Now at first trigger, at first trigger, but values changed into this work area because you are referring, you are using as a part of, you are using with internal table. But this temporary work area, nothing will happen. And if I will just see this temporary work area, temporary work area is as it is. Values are as it is. And we are using temporary work area for the order number. And this is one. Now suppose... If I will come to the 10th iteration, suppose I will do F8, second record, third record, fourth record, fifth record, sixth record, seventh, eighth, ninth, now 10th record. 
Now we have 10th record. For the 10th record, yes, if I will show you. For the 10th record, what is the order number? What is the order number? 10. Now at last will trigger. For the last record, we know at last will trigger. Yes, at last is triggering. Just see, as of now, everything is fine in LWA data one because control break event has not triggered. Now, this LWA data one, you pass to temporary work area. So in the temporary work area, we have the order number 10. Now at last trigger. In this LWA data one, everything changed. But in this LWA temp, everything is same to same. And what is the last order number we want to print? 10. So temporary order number is 10. And you can see output is fine. Now customer will accept this kind of output. Very, very important solution. So what is the summary of this videos? The summary of the video is, yes, whenever at first and at last is there, yes, all character field values convert to star, all numeric field values convert to zero. Whenever at new field name or at end of field name is there, nothing will happen to the value of specified field. But whatever the column fields are, whatever the columns are on the right hand side of that, all character field values will convert to star, all numeric field values will convert to zero. And if you want to display the values of other column, suppose in our current scenario, we want to display the value of order number. And but if we will display simply as a part of control brief statement or even star, star, star will display. So what is the solution for the same? Before they will convert to star, 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 take the values in temporary work area and use that work area to display the values. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.